Hello, third graders. We are on unit two, week four, vocabulary for our story tops and bottoms. Our first vocabulary word is the word predict. Predict means to use clues to tell what will happen next. The next word, which we've seen before, is the word synonym. A synonym is a word that means the same as another word. In this chart, you can see some synonyms. We'll look at the word smart. Some synonyms for smart might be brilliant or intelligent. Below it, you'll see the word, word ran. Some, some synonyms for ran might be sprinted or dashed. Our next word is possessive nouns. Possessive nouns show ownership to a person, place, or thing and there's normally an apostrophe and then an S added. So if someone owns something, you would say like Camara's book, Mariah's dogs, Mark's food, Kiora's hair. Otherwise, things or places can also own something like the restaurant's food, the turtle's shell, the book's pages, the school's iPads, Notice how when they own something, they add that apostrophe and then an S after the name or the person, place, or thing. Our next word is singular possessive nouns. A singular possessive noun shown, shows ownership to only one person, place, or thing. Um, after this video, I will share this video by The Electric Company, kind of a fun one on singular possessive nouns. Our next word is plural possessive nouns. We know plural means more than one, so a plural possessive noun shows ownership to more than one person, place, or thing. Now this one is different because the apostrophe goes after the S. So in this chart, you can see the singular possessive nouns. It's always the apostrophe and then the S. But in plural, the apostrophe goes after it. So the boys' hats. You can see there's two boys that own hats. The dog's bones. Again, two dogs that own bones. The girl's bows. Down here, there's three girls that own bows. So for plural possessive nouns, that apostrophe is always after the S. Our next word, which we've seen before, is the word antonym. An antonym is a word that means the opposite of another word. So the opposite of boy would be girl, the opposite of hot would be cold, and the opposite of day would be night. These are your vocabulary words this week. Make sure you are practicing them. You can log on to Quizlet and get some practice with them on there.